Joe Namath will forever be a legend for his guarantee and his upset of the Colts in Super Bowl III. His unforgettable place in pro football history would have never happened if he hadn't won the game before. This is the money game. Get to play against those boys. For people to accept him as a great quarterback, the Jets had to win that game. I mean, they knew he was flashy and had a great arm and completed all these passes, but he hadn't won anything. The Raiders took a shot at Namath any chance they could. That was uh, the toughest game I ever played in, physically the toughest game. They were mean and uh, a little extra. <laughs> Namath dislocated a finger and was examined for other injuries, but never missed a play. He threw a touchdown to Don Maynard in the first quarter, and another to Pete Lammons in the third. Walked by Lammons on the 10, the 5, touchdown! Namath hit very hard as he threw the ball, but Lammons caught it. In the fourth quarter, the Jets led 20 to 16. Namath knew what to expect from the Raiders' defense. The swirling wind of Shea Stadium was another matter. I'm not making any excuses about throwing interception. But if you look at the film, the ball got hung up a little bit, and Atkinson made a good play on it and caught it. I was able to get over there and uh, knock him out of bounds. But they still scored a couple of plays later to put us behind. 19, I don't care. No, 119. 119, I think would be good. What followed? was the most important drive of Namath's career. Don Maynard had told me on the sideline that he could get a step on the defender, which was happened to be George Atkinson again, anytime we needed it. We went back out on the field. Atkinson climbed up on Don, and uh, Don said he could get a step or two on him, and he did. dropping back to pass. He is looking, he is going to throw long for Don Maynard. And Maynard makes the pass down to the 10 and he is dumped out of bounds on the 8 yard line. And I remember writing that that's the play that will define this franchise. And it did. He went back because he knew the wind was blowing. And he went back and he just flung this pass. I've never seen a ball thrown that far. I remember later on, just drawing a triangle and figuring it out. It was like that ball had to go 75 yards in the air. As we're running down the field, I thought about a guy that uh, used to hang out in the night tavern. He used to tell me that every time we got down there close, we'd run it, snail, we'd run, boozer, or Matt. He said, why don't you guys ever throw him running down the field? And I said, mm-hmm. We ran a play action, turned around and faked the ball to snail. Time to change, look completely across the field to Don Maynard. We scored that touchdown, but the game wasn't over right then. The Raiders and quarterback Daryl LaMonica still had a chance. Oakland was just 13 yards away when a Shea Stadium gust and the winds of fortune blew Namath's way. 2.20 to play, first and 10 of the New York 13. LaMonica back to pass, looking, throwing a swing pass behind. He threw the ball behind Charlie Smith. It's covered by the Jets. That was a lateral pass. It was not a forward pass. 
If 50 years ago, the Monica's past wasn't blown back, what would have become of the legend of Broadway Joe? That thought hasn't crossed my mind. I mean, if if doesn't come into play, woulda, coulda, shoulda doesn't come into play, you know, it, it's what it is. And uh, uh, yeah, I think we'd have uh, still won the game by the same score. <laughs> Bedlam breaks loose at Jay Stadium. 